So far, we have worked with the actor-related data, like listing all actors, updating, deleting an actor, and also adding new actors to the database. For that, you created the actor service, configured that service in the startup.cs, and injected this service in the actors controller. On the upcoming parts, we are going to do the same for producers, the cinemas, and the movies. But instead of creating the same methods from scratch, we are going to now implement a generic solution to the simple functionalities like adding, updating, deleting, and getting data from the database. For that, we are going to create a base repository interface and a base generic implementation of the main functionalities. Let us go to Visual Studio and see it in action. In Visual Studio, I'll just go to the Solution Explorer, and then in here go to the Data folder, and inside the Data folder, I'm going to add a new folder. So add a folder. I'm going to name this folder Base, because inside here we are going to have the Base repository. And then the first thing that I'm going to create will be the entity base. So basically what all entities have in common. So if you go to the models and then open the actor model, you can see that it has a key ID. Then if you go to the cinema, it also has an ID. And what we can do in this case is that we can create a base interface. So let us go to the solution explorer. Then you go to the base folder. Right click, then go to add. We are going to add a new interface, so select the item, then interface. And we are going to name this interface the I Entity Base. Then click the Add button. Change the accessibility to be public. So now we have public interface I Entity Base. And inside here we are going to define the ID property. So int, because this is an interface, and here you just define the data type, the name, and then get set. So we have the identity base. Now let us go and create the base repository interface. For that, go to the Solution Explorer. Inside the same folder, just right click, then go to Add. We are going to add another interface. But we are going to name this interface the entity base repository. So I entity base repository. And then click the add button. Now in here, let us first change the interface to be public. And this interface is going to be a generic one. So we're going to pass the parameter a T. And we are going to define the T type to be a class over T class. And the repositories or the services that are going to use this repository or the repository that is going to inherit from this interface will also have to inherit from the I entity base. And then at the end, just add new. And then inside here, we are going to define all the methods. Let us start with the first one. So if we go to the solution explorer and then in here, go to the services, and then go to the iActors service, you can copy all these values. So control C and then go to the I entity base repository and paste them in here. Now change the actor to T because now this is going to be a generic solution. So this is going to be a T. This is also going to be a T and then this one and then this one, and we also have one other actor in here. And then change the new actor to be just entity, and in the add async, entity as well. Let us go to Solution Explorer one more time. So Solution Explorer, and then inside the base folder, we are going to add now the actual repository. So just right click, then go to add a class, we are going to name this class the entity base repository and then click the add button. Now this class is going to be a generic one. So we are going to have the T parameter and now we are going to inherit from the I entity 
base repository, the same way it has the T. And now we are going to define that the T is a class. It will also inherit from the I entity base. And then at the end, add the new keyword. Now we're going to see that in here we get an error and that's because we inherit from this interface. So we need to implement all the methods within this interface. So just click in here, then go to implement interface. Now for us to be able to work with the database, we need to inject the app db context file and we need to also update the iActors service in this case but we're going to use the same way in the upcoming parts for the other services. This is all we are going to do in this part. In the upcoming parts, we are going to add all these methods one by one.